Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing for you. Something that came in from, looks like, White Mountain Knives. All right, so let's take a look at this. Today I'm opening it up with my Brian Brown Raptor version 2. This is a Riot design, or Riot made knife for Brian Brown who designed the knife. Let's take a look. there so let's go ahead and jump right into that box oh, it's right here I guess I need a little class on opening boxes for dummies huh <laughs> ah, peanuts the joy of peanuts Say that. Put that in there. All right. So what do we have here? We have a little uh, a knife from Wii. So let's go ahead and focus in on that. Uh, so here we go. In case you're curious, let's take a look at that. That is a trogon, uh, a Wii trogon, bronze titanium handle. So let's take a look at that. So usual Wii stickers, and cloth, and silicate pack. Put that off to the side. Let's get in there. All right. Nice little, nice little case. All right. So here it is. The Wii Trogon. This is the Brian Brown design. Beautiful, looks like bronze titanium anodized handles with the bronze hardware, like the little holes on there. Look at it on the back, all the nice little hardware and accents. I don't know if you can see that. Can we see the texture on that? I might have to do a really super zoom. Let's see if we can get in on that. Yeah, you can see that beautiful texturing on that. Really, really, really nice. I like that. All the hardware accents and everything. Got a backspacer. We got a little lanyard, uh, kind of a pin there, so you can use that. Look at that. It's got a nice puller and a thumb stud. Nice big aggressive thumb stud. I really like the uh, middle deep pocket carry clip there. That's really nice. Yeah, nice flexibility to it. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a flip. What do you say? Oh yeah, look at that. Nice hollow grind, dual grind. Looks like compound grind flat up here with a hollow grind right down here. Comes down to a very nice thin edge. Got that nice puller here. Um, and then you got a nice thumb stud with some of the jimping up here. Definitely can grip. You can definitely choke up here as well, right here. Definitely will hold my hand, as you can see right there. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. Definitely can zoom right here. So, I mean, you can definitely hold and you, you see without getting into the finger twirl. But let's see how this closes, all right? Oh, that's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and flick this open. Okay, reverse thumb. Flicks very nice. Let's do the forward. Very, very nice. Let's see, does the, oh yeah, the fuller works beautifully. Look at that. Let's do left-handed. Oops. Very nice. Drops really well. Reverse flick drops really well, and the fuller works really well. I like this. You can definitely feel the texture on here. Really, really nice. Absolutely fantastic. Love the shape of this blade. Definitely a three-inch blade. Looks like with the handle is definitely a good four and so four inches. I definitely get a full grip right on here, as you can see. Definitely see the full four-finger grip. I've got medium to medium large hands, so definitely can fit my four fingers on here with a little extra room. And if you choke up, you definitely have a ton of extra room. So large to extra large hands can certainly use that. Now, if you're the person who wants to hold back here, you feel like you're going to be off. I think definitely 
uh, large to extra large could probably do this maybe even extra large but for sure extra large hands no problem really really nice i like this blade and you can see the little brian brown design right there you see that little brian brown right there design that's his logo that he typically has you'll see that like on here you'll see it on the uh, um, right there on the uh, cutout well it's i guess the liner lock um, liner lock cream lock cutout part where it reliefs it's uh, i guess it's more of a relief right so you can see that there that's typically where he puts it but since the Wii does the little three little parts here you know what's really nice this is not aggressive at all it's not sharp at all right here that's really really nice all the corners are rounded really chamfered nicely and let's look at the inside there it doesn't look like it's milled out a lot but that is very thin Definitely a thin kind of grip, but it's a big handle, which is really nice. But I love that action. That action is fantastic. Here's what, no, nope, no blade rock. Nice in there, solid. Let's look at the lockup. Can we see that? The lockup looks like it's a good 30, 40%. Yeah, for sure. Drops really nicely. And if I want to drop it here, I'm not going to worry about it hitting me. So you see it catches right on my thumb, so I'm good there. So that's really nice. I like that a lot. Very, very good. Very good. Cool. All right. Yeah, the action is superb. Really superb. I really, really, really like the action on this. It's really fantastic. That's one of the better things for sure. Now, I like this right here and how they made this look like this titanium. Made it look like it was brass or something. That's really nice. You see that? They kind of really polished that off. That's really, really nice. But this milling here is just really fantastic i love that now this is black pvd coated i believe is that what it said let's take a look here real quick uh blackstone washed okay blackstone washed cbm 20 cb blade with a fuller all right so it's bronze titanium handle so this is bronze titanium and i like how they even made the holes look like they were bronze they call these speed holes i guess i don't know this is supposed to speed up the knife or something but it certainly makes it a little lighter and this is a pretty heavy stock blade. You can see that comparing the two blades here. Yeah, it looks like the Wii knife is definitely going to be thicker than the than the than the Riot knife for sure. Yeah, I mean now overall the Riot knife is thinner, I think for sure. But if we put these side by side, yeah, they're almost almost the same. I, I would say the blade looks like it's going to be. We go from tip to tip. Blades almost the same. The choke ups the same. The length the same. They're, they're really close. Really close. But man, they're both, the action is superb on this. Now, I have skiff washers on this Riot knife. And the skiff washers made a really, really nice difference. Really, really sweet. So I like that a lot. But this one over here, I don't think it's going to need it. I mean, the action and the smoothness is already just superb already. Yeah, that's fantastic. Really, really nice. All right, so let's get some close-ups here. I want to make sure you guys can see that. We'll go back to desktop super zoom. Can we see that? Here we go. Trying to get that focus to kick in. Yeah, all right. Looks like I have to fix the camera a little bit here. I'm sorry. I'm using some new camera setup to do this uh, unboxing, so it's a learning process for sure. But you can definitely see that beautiful brass canonization. It's really nice. And here's the back spacer and everything. Really, really nice with the little uh, br uh, brass. Um, I guess you. I guess that's technically a standoff or a pin. I guess we can call it a pin because this is a backspacer. And the centering here, yep, dead center, perfectly. Make sure I get the right camera angle. Dead center, really, really nice. Oh, the action is just superb. Wow, really, really nice. Yeah, no, I mean, just really great. I love the milling here, that's really great. All right, so this is, this is the unboxing, this is just an impression. First, some uh, unboxing impressions. We'll carry it for a little bit and do a review. 
and we'll have some more thoughts on this, obviously. As you know, I like to carry and use these knives for sure. So this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. This is, this, I definitely think I really, really like this one. So very good. Very good. This is the Wii Tro Trogon. Wii Trogon by Brian Brown. It's a Brian Brown design. And we definitely see his logo. Logo right there. Right? It is a compound grind with a hollow grind in the middle and then a flat grind at the end. It's definitely got like a, it's a tanto blade shape, technically a tanto with a little corner right there. But it's sort of like a drop tanto point modified, whatever you want to call it. But uh, locks in really, really nicely. Let's see, can I roll it open? Yep. So if you want to roll this puppy open, you can absolutely do that. Let me do that again. If I can, there you go. So definitely can roll it. Can we do it left hand? Yep, you can definitely roll it left hand as well. So there you go. Very nice. Very nice. I like this one. All right. So, guys, if you have any comments or questions, feel, feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Any things that you'd like to see in some of these unboxings, I would love to incorporate them and learn more. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching the video. And if you like this video, would you consider hitting the like button? I sure would appreciate that. It helps me know that my content is of value and I can keep producing more content. And if you like this video, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, that helps me as well. And if you have already subscribed and you want to be notified of upcoming videos, hit that notification button. Also, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's robs underscore nerdy underscore knives on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.